Hey YouTube. Well, I know I'm late to this story. I deliberately tried to uh, avoid it. Well, not avoid it. I just didn't give a shit. You know, I I had this. I had uh, unsubscribed from Michelle Etlin Brown, and I had unsubscribed from Kaya, which I was never that interested in Kaya's situation. Both of them. The reason why I didn't go into it a couple days ago is because. It just seemed too easy. Like, you know, everybody was chiming in, you know. I just didn't want to get it. It's too obvious to me. Everybody want to get a piece of that. But I have a couple of comment, comments on it. I told that woman, Michelle Brown, I tried to tell her. Don't even know her. I trust, girl, watch. <laughs> okay, first time I saw Kaya, I saw her doing an interview with T.S. Madison. I did a video on, in that very moment that I saw her. Or as soon as that video went off, I entitled it T.S. Madison. Who that woman? Who is that woman? Why is she in the marvelous chateau? It's like a premonition. Or maybe it's just something I carried over from the streets. But I know that girl is going to be trouble. And I was asking that girl, why you got that woman in your house? Now, T.S. Madison, she's no, no dummy. I, I know that. They did a couple of interviews. The response was good. She saw a coin in it. Kaya sabotaged it. That's basically what happened there, right? So I'm not going to blame Madison. And plus, she's street smart enough to know what she's dealing with, right? So we ain't going to worry too much about T.S. Madison handling herself. But when this damn girl, Michelle Atlin Brown, inserted her ass... She saw them, when those two fell out, Madison and this other girl, uh, Kaya, when they fell out, which was inevitable, move boy, when they, don't you eat furniture, child, oh, he's got a raw height by my expensive uh, antique desk, he's not eating the chair leg, he's eating the raw height around the chair leg, okay, back to the story, when those two fell out, Kaya and Michelle, dramatically, Live online with a celebrity, <laughs> Monique. When all that happened, and Michelle saw, she saw this fight, this this beef that she could stir up between trans women, because it went right there. It was always trans women against women. So Michelle decided, I'll get on the woman's side, right? I told that woman then, I know I'm, I was still talking about that show at the time. Queen's Court was everybody was talking about it kind of thing. And it's not always just, just a matter of trying to get a coin from it. It's just that this is what the current it, current thing is. You know, they had a, a successful on, online thing and everybody was talking about it. But uh, when I saw that girl wiggle her ass down, or I should say wobble her ass down to that club and start inserting herself into these people's arguments, and with this horrible language she was using, calling Madison all this transphobic slurs and all this kind of stuff, I said, this is going to be trouble, girl. What happened? Michelle is a square. How is she going to take her ass down to this club and start hanging out with these people? Kaya, crowd, probably mostly gangsters, or some level of gangster. She calls herself the thug missus. Now, how is a school teacher looking... Michelle going to bring her ass down, and it serves up in the middle of that. And now she wanted the gang. She wanted the group. Apparently, the group did not feel that way. They don't like her. They hated her because she didn't fit. She was inserting herself. So now they fighting. Kaya, Michelle Brown. Kaya saying she don't know Michelle Brown. Right. Michelle's, you know, and it... it <laughs> If this woman don't ever see this thing, she probably already unsubscribed from me. But if, for the rest of you, do not get involved with people, uh, gangsters slash street people. Do not get your ass down there unless you know how to handle yourself. Let me tell you something that I, used, that I learned from the streets. On the streets, whenever somebody start calling someone else child molester, Somebody who not been accused of any of these things before, right? You never heard it before. All of a sudden, they call this person, this drug dealer, 
child molesters. They start spreading all over the street, right? Oh, man, I heard he's a child molester. You know how that shit goes. You tell one person, then it grows, and then you know, he, he molested all these kids. It, it grows in the streets, right? Or they'll say, the other one, the other big one, the more the bigger one, actually, he's a snitch. Oh, man, he told. They'll spread that all around the streets, right? I already know that man's about to be robbed. That man is about to be robbed because they first demonize the victim so that there will be no repercussion from the streets. See, it's okay to rob child molester or it's okay to rob a snitch even though the person, they don't even know what the story's about. That was the routine of people in the street when they were about to rob you. They start saying all these horrible things. Oh, he ripped, man. He ripped Bobby off, man. Oh, yeah, it was $1,000. Next thing you know, oh, it was $20,000. Oh, man, he got robbed. He's about to get robbed. Michelle taking her ass down there in her stainless and gold Rolex, driving her, what's she drive, a Porsche or something? Bragging about all the shit she got. Them people, not that they don't like you, but you're a mark, honey. You are a mark. And it doesn't have to be directly from Kaya. These people she calling the, the, uh, the uh, Kaya mob. Kaya is constantly, every time she beats with somebody, she's constantly putting a threat out there, right? Funky Dineva. Oh, my, my, my boys won't want to uh, gonna come and see you about something. T.S. Madison. Oh, yeah, be damn shame somebody came over there. You know, it's always a threat. It's always, that's the third part. <laughs> There's always a, a threat of something going to happen to you, right? When the people come in there and they see Michelle, who does not fit in that crowd, inserting herself, because street people, they might, they might not be educated, but they, a lot of them are very smart, and they are intuitive. They said, this broad is just cashing in on, on, on our girl, right? Anyway, they see a mark. So what happens next? Oh, we don't like Michelle. Now they're all talking shit about Michelle, right? They all, uh, girl, be careful. Telling all your business online and then going down here, hanging out with people you don't know just to be messy for clicks and subs. You tied your wagon to, to Kaya in the midst of this thing, what you thought was going to be a war between transgender women and women, which didn't work. Madison seems to be thriving through all of this madness. She seems to be doing just fantastic. It's you. You didn't hook yourself with these, these hoodlums. <laughs> Excuse me, brothers and sisters. I ain't hating the game, right? <laughs> I'm just hating this player, this wannabe player in the game. Girl, you out here telling these people all your business, right? Now what's going on with the conversation? Oh, the conversation is, she owe me money. Oh. Do not involve yourself with certain kind of people, particularly anything where the possibility is they can say you owe them money. Because you know why? Or you owe that person money. You know why? Somebody's going to drop a dime on your ass. I ain't trying to start no trouble. I'm trying to tell this ridiculous ass woman. How you going to take your ass down in the... I don't, say, I don't know Atlanta very well. So I won't say the ghetto, but around that crowd calling themselves thugs. Led by the thug missus, right? <laughs> Taking yourself down there, and then you're talking about property you got where nobody lives, nobody's at it. Girl, you are setting yourself up for a major fall. And I tried to tell you before, so I'm going to try to tell you again, Miss Michelle Brown. Leave them damn people alone. You are out of your league. You're exposing yourself to people who could actually hurt you. As I said, every time Kaya talks, she's always threatening people with violence. And they know you're a scary woman. Girl, no matter how much you come online trying to act like you're tough, you street smart, and all, they can look through that, child. We see through that. Coming through the door. All they got to say is, boo, and your ass is gone, crying. They know that. They can sense that. The streets can sense a weak person. Right? Now, is they claiming that you have somehow ripped off Kaya or the money is, I don't even know about all those details, but it involves money and someone might owe somebody else some money and all that kind of stuff. That's an excuse to get your ass. So you didn't listen the first time. 
You didn't listen. I said, you were in danger, Will Smith. You're in danger, Will Smith. You're in danger, Will Smith. Nope. You want to go taking your ass down there and attacking these trans women people? Because they had uh, uh, Kaya, you know, they can lift up those numbers and all that. And you might have you pulled three or four hundred dollars out, out the deal. Bad move, Michelle Brown. Bad move. So now they're all warring with each other. I told you before, I said, why do you bring that guy, Josh, down there to that club? He told me he want to beat people up and he's tough. And I said, that's the wrong place to be going down there talking that kind of shit. Now, you don't got him all involved in it. You don't got him all involved in it. I told you then, well, he got lucky because he got the hell away from your ass. So now Michelle and Josh fell out. I don't know much about this. Like I said, I unsubscribe from all these people. So here's another warning shot. Leave those damn people out your mouth. Don't say shit about them. Get distance between you and the thug missus and all of her crowd. Those ones that she's always saying are about to jump on somebody. They're, they're going to come and get you. With Madison, she can get up in her top window and just cock her, her, her one of her pistols or rifles <laughs> or machine guns. She ain't go, it's not. It, she's not like you. All them people got to do is call your phone, boo, and your ass going, your wig gonna fly off. Leave those people alone. That's what I'm telling you, Miss Miss uh, Michelle Brown. And I don't care nothing about your situation. I just see a dumb square woman. Who thinks she can go in here in any crowd. She feels confident. She feels like she is a celebrity. She can make things happen. She's baller shot caller in, in Atlanta. You fucking with the wrong people, Michelle Brown. You're fucking with the wrong people. Let's say it one more time for good. You're fucking with the wrong. Leave those people out of your mouth. Get, make, get some distance between you and Kaya and her crowd. All right, let's see what you do now. Are you going to be making a video today? 